Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing six different looks using the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. This palette is so stunning. There are so many different look variations you could do, but I put together six that I wanted to be like super wearable and easy to recreate. So like nothing super crazy. So for each look, I'm gonna do a voiceover so then I can show you like every step and how I do it so that hopefully it is easy to follow. And this is one of the looks that I created. It's very nice, simple, and glam, and my eyelids are screaming from removing the makeup and doing this many looks, so here we go. Starting out here with the shade Karma, I'm giving a really nice wash across the whole transition area, taking the shade off balance and then just focusing that in the outer portion of my eyelid. Using the shade Frazzled on my finger, I am putting that all over my lid. And then I'm topping that with the shade Gold Glitch. And on the inner corner, I am using the shade Super Moon to really brighten things up. To add a little drama, I'm using the shade Vortex, just wedging that in the lash line. And then I'm also doing like a little reverse cat eye with that. And then I'm smudging out the lower lash line with the shade Karma. To brighten up under the brow bone, I'm using the shade Momentum. And here is the final look. It's very delicate and glam. For the next look, I am taking the shade Libra and putting it all over the transition, avoiding my lid. And for the lid, we're going in with the shade Vortex with a very small brush. This is perfect for doing like a cut crease and just really cutting in there. And I'm applying this all over my lid to really deepen things up just dusting away any of the fallout and next going in with the shade ultraviolet and using my finger to just pack that color on and just softly blending it into the crease area taking the shade galaxy and creating a little bit of a spotlight eye and i'm also applying that into my inner corners To add some color here, I'm taking the shade Mercury and lining my lower lash line and then using the shade Haze and just blowing that out. And here's the finished look. Starting off this next look with the shade Karma, then going into the transition with the shade Haze and just trying to focus that like right in the transition area to really brighten things up. And then I'm going in with the shade Mercury with my finger and just applying that directly onto the lid and then taking the shade momentum and brightening up under my brow bone for the lower lash i'm using the shade karma and then i decided to deepen things up using mac coal liner and this look is definitely one of my most favorite from all the ones i created here for this next look i'm using the shade utopia as a transition and i'm just packing that down blowing it all out making sure the color is really put down and really bright and then i'm going in with the shade gold glitch with my finger and applying it all over my eyelid and then taking the shade momentum under the brow bone. I'm using the shade utopia to smudge out under the lower lash line and then taking the shade gold glitch and putting it on my inner corners, just keeping this look nice and simple. I was so excited to create a look with this next shade, Nebula. Like, look at how stunning that is. So I'm going in with the shade Crash as the transition. Definitely pulled a little purpley on me. And a lot of the colors don't pull the way they look in the pan. And then going in with the shade Karma and just focusing that into the crease area and the outer portion of my lid. And then on top, going in with that stunning shade Nebula using my finger. That's what works best here. And this shade does have quite a bit of fallout. I don't know if using a glitter glue would have been better. And then on the inner corner, using the shade Super Moon. And then taking the shade Karma and smoking out the lower lash line to complete this look. So this next look is one that I've been wearing pretty much nonstop, and I'm taking the shade off balance in the transition, and then I'm gonna go in with the shade Karma and focus that in the crease area and then on the outer portion of my lid. To make sure everything's nice and blended, I'm using the shade Momentum under the brow bone. And don't use the brush technique, it didn't work. So I'm taking the shade Supernova with my finger and just patting that on to my lid. And then in the middle, I'm using the shade Cosmic, just like a little spotlight. And then I'm also taking that gorgeous shade Cosmic on the inner corner. 
Now for the lower lash line, I am using the shade Hot Mess to really deepen things up a bit and just smoke that out. And this is the final look. So thanks for watching. I hope that you guys got some good ideas for this palette. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.